having a routine is very important, right? Your daily routine, like your morning routine, your evening routine, a set of things that you need to do, a set of things that you will do in the morning, right? And if you've done all that, it will set you up for a good day, right? You have more certainty, right? It's, it's become more predictable, right? And therefore, it gives you more confidence as to achieving your goals, right? For the day, right? Whatever task that you need to accomplish, you know you will achieve them. That gives you a lot of confidence and of course, you know, the effectiveness of your action. So, the importance of routine is obvious, right? We, we don't need to debate about it, right? Everyone agrees that it is important. This video is about routine being broken, right? Your routine being interrupted. What if you wake up in the morning, something unexpected happened and before you knew it, right, it's already midday and you haven't done a single thing that you needed to do in your morning routine. What do you do? A lot of times, as far as I'm concerned, right, if such days exist, if such days happen, right, most of the time I feel really bad. Probably um, by the end of the day, you know, I have done only one out of five things I needed to do in the routine, right? Or maybe not at all because of some emergency that I needed to attend to that day, all right? And sometimes it's not because of all the tasks that are in my way. Maybe the emergency happened just in the morning and in the afternoon I have time to play catch up, but I was just too busy feeling bad about not having completed my routine in the morning. So that is very stupid. Looking back, it's very unnecessary. Instead of feeling bad about it, I needed to see this as a football match. Like in the World Cup, you know, um, you start the match of, you know, five minutes into the game, um, the opponent score one goal against your team, right? Before half time, another goal. So the second half begins with 0 2, right? You are two goals behind. What do you do, right? You still have the rest of your second half is the same as having the rest of your day you know so by noon right you screw up your routine you are two goals behind so the rest of the day you know what to do now if you look at it as a football match don't you right you play catch up right you make a comeback right you go back to doing what you needed to do right rather than waste away the rest of the day feeling bad and uh, feeling guilty. There's no use, you know, crying over spilled milk, right? You need to pick yourself up, right? And start playing catch up. That's what I want to say today. It's good to have a routine, but it's also important, right? To have a plan B when your routine is interrupted. It's important to reboot your mindset, right? Seeing this as a football match, right? Your job is to play catch up because a football match can happen any one way. It can happen in any one way, right? So there are unlimited number of ways how the football match will eventuate. So your job is, it doesn't matter how it eventuates, you can be, you know, you can be having one, two, one, one new, two new, three new. By midday, you have five zero. That's good, right? And by the end of the day, you ended up with nine zero or ten zero, right? You are ten goals against your opponent. Fantastic! Congratulations! You have a great day. But some days aren't that great. Some days, you know, before noon, you are three goals behind. 
your job is to play catch up. So it's important to have a routine, but it's even more important to have a plan when your routine is being interrupted. If your routine fails, what is your routine? That is what we need to pay attention to as well. All right, so I'm gonna stop here. See you next time and thanks for listening, all right? Bye.